These men are trying to meet up with teenagers online. Do you have kids of your own? Yeah. What would they think of this? They probably disown me. They think they're talking to actual teenagers, but in reality, they're talking to an adult decoy posing as one on the other end. You say 14? Yeah. Oh my god, that's too young. I act older though. You having a good Saturday night? How's it going? Not only is it immoral and downright disgusting, but it's illegal. And these guys know that very well. You won't believe some of their excuses. I don't have no intentions to try to do anything, though, buddy. You don't? I don't. What about when you said that you wanted to slide your hands up and down her back? You talking to me like that at first. They come in all different shapes and sizes. It, I, this poor judge and I might hurt to ever continue the conversations. Just want to let you know you've you just been skeeted. What is skeeted? No, I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, and these are the dangers of your kids using the internet unsupervised. I hope you've brought your appetite because we've got a lot of predator pasta to dish out here. It's always risky business when you're chatting online with someone who told you they're 13. But it's even riskier business when you're standing out on the corner at night in the north side of Philadelphia. It's probably not the best place to stand around, but Eric here was committed to picking up his date. In the city where it's always sunny, Eric managed to find a way to darken it up with his predatory actions. Now, usually it's all good in the hood, but that wasn't the case here with Eric. We set up an online profile, posing as a teen girl. For about four months, Eric carried on a very sexually charged conversation with who he thought was a 13-year-old girl. And on a lonesome September night, he decided to drive an hour and a half to pick her up and bring her back to his house where his 10-year-old daughter and mother lived. That's a pretty bold move, if you ask me. But as soon as Eric arrived, his world turned upside down when he was greeted by me and a Philadelphia police officer. Eric's chat log was very interesting. At one point, he said that he was a gentleman, but he also knew how to thug it out. He says that he's a gentleman and a real man, but he can also thug it out. Can you now, Eric? You, you can thug it out. It, it's a thing. It's from thug it. Max. So I'm not gotcha, you're a... any type of way like this. So I'm okay. Well, I, I gotta wonder where your dogs so, are at now. This is all you got, right? But I would say that he was getting thugged on by some of the bystanding residents when he came out to the hood. Oh, no. oh, let me get my phone and tell my kids to come through the door. That's worldwide, but everybody too good. That's nasty. That's not what I meant. The block is hot, and so is the fire that Eric lit under his ass when he came to pick up a 13-year-old girl. The things he said in this chat log will shock you. The girl says that she's 13 and asks Eric if he's okay with that. Eric says, yeah, that's fine. Maybe you can meet my daughter sometime. She's 10, lol. The conversation goes on for a few weeks and Eric starts catching feelings for this imaginary girl. Eric says, babe, I feel like I can talk to you about anything. No one understands me like you do. You ever had sex? The girl says, no, she's a virgin. Eric then sends a graphic image of himself and says that he's going to pop that cherry. As the day of the meetup approaches, Eric offers to buy some illegal narcotics so that he and the girl can party like a rock star. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. His chat log is so disturbing that we can't show it on YouTube. Just know that it's very X-rated. Eric was very excited to pick up his 13-year-old date, but I had other plans in store for him. We came across this Eric guy on a dating app somewhere in the summer of 2022. He held a very sexually charged conversation with who he thought was a 13-year-old girl for around three or four months. Now, as you know, we're based in Michigan, and 
this Eric fellow was in the Philadelphia area. So on a Friday afternoon back in September, we hopped on a flight from Detroit to Philadelphia to confront him. We're pretty dedicated here at the Predatorial Investigation Unit. So we land in Philadelphia and get in our rental car and we start heading to our designated sting house that we were, that we were renting. As we approach our destination, the neighborhood gets more and more sketchy as every minute goes by. When you start to see cars popping curbs in order to park, uh, you know you're not in the best area, so that made us a little bit nervous. Eric chatted online with this 13-year-old girl for around four months or so, and he became borderline obsessed with her. At some point, he made the picture of the, the decoy that we were using his actual phone screensaver. It's borderline infatuating how invested he was in this 13-year-old girl that did not exist. Um, it's really a bit sad if, if you think about it. From the point of first contact to the point where we actually met Eric face to face, um, we took over 200 screenshots of his, of his conversation, which of course would equate to over 200 pages of printed chat logs. I mean, you're talking about a short novel here. And if that doesn't shock you, just know that he also has a 10-year-old daughter of his own. He would send pictures, videos of him playing with his this little girl. Um, even during the recorded phone calls, you could hear his daughter in the background, and he would be playing with his daughter while he was talking to this 13-year-old girl that he was sexually and romantically invested in. Three years older than his own daughter. It's really heartbreaking to think that someone with a 10-year-old daughter could do this sort of thing. Now, Eric was about an hour and a half from our sting house in Philadelphia. When the time came around for him to meet up, he got very nervous about actually coming inside the house. He didn't want anyone to see him. When we got the text that Eric was right outside the house, we fired up the cameras, and I went through various hoops trying to get an officer on site for when I confronted Eric. It was almost like they didn't even want to come out for this thing. We thought that the police weren't even going to show up for this guy. So at some point, we just said, screw it, we'll head out and meet Eric on the corner. And that's what we did. All right, so let's see. Call Philadelphia Police Department. Hi there. Um, so I, I run this sort of um, sting operation where we catch um, online predators. And um, in the next 20 minutes or so here, we have a 36-year-old man who may be in the possession of um, cocaine, so he says, in the chat logs. And he's also here to pick up a 13-year-old um, girl. So we we're wondering if we may, able to, may be able to get an officer um, on site as soon as we confirm that he's arrived at our location here. Uh, what is the location? All of our calls have to go through 911. That way, if there's an issue at any time, everything's recorded, and if we need further information, we can contact you directly without have us having the relay from inside the office out okay. the street. Um, so your best would be just to contact 911. I do believe there are a couple cars available. I just don't know if they're available in that area, but give 911 gotcha. a call, and they'll advise you where to go from there. Okay, appreciate it. No problem. Good All time. right. Go, Philadelphia Police Station. In the next 10, 15 minutes or so, we do have um, an, an individual showing up to um, basically kidnap a 13, who he thinks is a 13-year-old girl, and he did claim to be in possession of cocaine as well. So I uh, just want to know if we could uh, get an officer on site, if we can confirm that he um, has pulled up to the address. He's on his way. He should be here in about the next 10, 15 minutes. And again, okay. he, he did claim to be in possession of um, cocaine. He was planning to have the girl try some of it. So... Um, he, he might have it on him, I can't say for sure, but he claimed to, um, to, to have it. Do you know what kind of vehicle that guy's going to be showing up in? Um, no, I can get it for you, though. I'm sure he would um, tell me. He wa he's going to pull up to the house, and he wants the girl to just come out and get in his vehicle, so I can, I can ask him what he's going to be in. Sure, man. Yeah. And the person that's going to be showing up, is he a black, white, Asian, or Hispanic male? 
he's a white male. I'm not sure how tall he is. He has a rather long beard, though. Um, his name is Eric, um, but he goes by Mike. He tells the girls... Eric. Eric. He's from... Also known as Mike? Uh, that's what he goes by um, when he's talking to the 13-year-old the girl. I believe... I did a number search, and I think his name is Eric. Sure. Do you know what color vehicle he's in? Um, I just asked him. He said he's 10 minutes away. He hasn't responded to um, what kind of car he's driving yet, though. And, uh... You know what color shirt, pants, hat, like a description of the guy? Um, I don't... He hasn't sent a picture of him today, but he, he is a Caucasian male. Um, he has a couple of tattoos on, well, he has a, he has one tattoo on his right wrist. I'm not sure what it is. It's, it says something. It's like a, it's, it's text. Um, yeah, average, I would say average height Caucasian male. That's pretty much the best I can give you on him. I don't know what he's wearing today. Okay, yeah, we're looking at about nine minutes now, according to what he said. That guy is under the impression that he's going to take a 13-year-old. Yes, a 13-year-old girl. And take her back to his house with his 10-year-old daughter. And I believe he's also living with his, his mom. How old is Eric? I believe he's 36, 34, 36, something like that. Got some protocol questions I'm required to ask. Any COVID, mental health, or substance abuse issues? Uh, no, sir. I can connect you over to the 22nd District. You could. Talk to the officers there, and I can stay on. The, I'm going to stay on the line with that uh, when I transfer you over to the 22nd district. If there's okay. any additional information. Okay, that's fine. No, stay on the line. Okay. I transferred him over purely for the fact that it would be easier to coordinate with y'all than it would be for us, because we don't have an ETA or any ability to. Uh, coordinate in the exact time frame when he might want police to be there. Either would we. If I could just If you want, call. I can transfer you to a supervisor. You know what? I'll just do that instead. Hold on, guys. Sure thing. Uh, am I on the phone? Is the dispatcher on here, too? That's correct. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Whole gang's here. What's going on here, though? What is, what is it that you need from us? He has this guy, Eric, 36-year-old white male with a long beard and a tattoo of some sort of text on his right arm. He's about to arrive at the location of the street, and he would like some police to be out there. Um, all right, so if you want police out there, and this has nothing to do with SVU, um, uh, to whoever, um, sir, whoever the dispatcher is online, you know we don't dispatch them in here. Oh, yeah, I'm well aware of that. I, the reason I transferred him over is purely because I thought it might be easier to coordinate because he's asking for like a specific time to, for police to get there. We got about you know, four minutes. I know that until we can't arrives. do that either. I know that you can't exactly do that either. Right, and the, and the problem is, like for example, if we have somebody like it's a Friday night, if we have somebody yeah, shooting at somebody definitely. or something like that, uh, which this is the hood, it's bound to happen soon. Yeah, definitely. We have to send officers there. Let's come up here. We'll get the uh, see if we can look up the window here. All right. So here's the problem. Right now. What that is, is technically it's a traffic. All right, so if we send an officer out there, this guy's going to walk anyway. Technically, any evidence or anything that's involved in this should be turned over to special investigator or special victims unit. Okay. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the number of special victims and call them and see what they say. Um, All right, if yeah. they want to call us and tell us to get a uniformed officer out there, sure, we'll take care of it right away. You know what I mean? But this yeah, I got you. Do that first. I got gotcha. you. All right, so here, um, can you take this number down ASAP and just yeah. get them a call real quick and see what's up? Yeah, I'm ready for you right now. I guess if Special Victims says it gives you the okay or something, just take a name down and give us a call back and we'll get somebody out there if we can ASAP. All right. All right. So All even right, being that he said he might have cocaine on him, you still don't want to... Okay. Okay. We'll call Special Victims. Yeah. I see he's walking around. He's walking back. She just said he's at the corner. The cops should be here any any minute. I see him again. He's not coming up to this house. I see standing at the corner. He is. That's my decoy. He's walking. He's walking. He's smoking. 
this. I think he's smoking a cigarette. You can see him. He's right there. He's waiting for his 13-year-old date. I think he's smoking a cigarette. You can see him right there. He's looking right at us. You can't see me, though. Dude, what the f*** was that? He's parked on the corner. His car right now. He's standing right there. He's calling again. He's calling. I don't know. Hope so. He is. He's like, where's his car? He's right here in this car that started. Oh, actually, maybe we can get him to come out. See, tell him, tell him you came outside, you don't see him, and if he walks around this corner, you talk to him. Yeah. She's calling him right now. He's on his way over here. How's it going, Eric? There you go. I'm with the uh, Predatorial Investigation Unit. We do have the police on standby. Uh -huh. Who are you uh, here to meet? I was a, well, I, I met a girl on a, a dating app. Okay. And she and we she was talking to me for a while. And the next thing you know, she went to meet and hang out and stuff like that. Okay. And how old is that girl? She told me that she was turning uh, 19. 19. Yeah, at one point. Okay. But but what what about here when when she said she was 13? See, so in the heaven oh. in the chat log right there, she mm -hmm. said she was 13. Mm -hmm. So, you do know that she was 13. I mean, yeah, I'm, I don't have no intentions to try to do anything, though, no, buddy. You don't? I don't. What about when you said that you wanted to slide your hands up and down her back? You talking to me like that at first. Well, it looks like yeah, it was you talking like this. Yeah, I'm not I'm trying to do that. Okay. And then, I mean, it just, you know, goes on. You've been talking to this girl for some time now. You say that you're going to shower real quick and then... Leave Wake her. up, and then you say that you want to have her in the shower with you? At one point, she was we were talking like that. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, I'm not serious about it. Like, I'm there, okay. We're literally just trying to make friends. Just trying to make yeah, friends. Just with make a... friends. That's all I'm doing. Okay. And, it, I mean, you do acknowledge here that she says she's 13. You go as it's a run-on sentence. You say that you're not on any um, bull****. And then you say, I know you're 13, and I can connect with you like another adult, is what you say here. So, I mean, is, is this really appropriate, no, um, no. Eric? No, I'm not, really, like, I'm serious, I'm not even trying to do anything. Like, You're not trying to I'm do trying anything? So, okay. Mean, and and how, how old are you? 36. 36. I have a kid. And you have a kid, and she's, she's, your, how old is your? So your 10. 10. Yeah. Now, what are you thinking, talking up this 13-year-old girl like this when you have a 10-year-old daughter of, of your own? I mean, I'm just, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just, like, I'm not trying to, I wasn't, like, trying to be anything serious. Like, I'm just trying to. I well, it looked like I know. you were trying to be very no, serious with her. I mean, really, you talked to her for a, the course of a few months now, and the, the things you say in this, this chat log, I mean, you say, since I met you, you're the only girl that I would ever want to be with that young, and I'm serious, and I respect you, and I'll treat you right. Do you mind keeping your hands out of your pocket? Yeah, oh, yeah, please, cool. appreciate it. Well, no, well, I, I mean, it looks like you were trying to be very, you know, serious yeah, with this girl. No, I'm, I'm really not, though. You're not? I'm really, I'm really, so, I'm well, really not. I just, I, what about I, all this stuff you said here? I mean... Honestly, like, yeah, when we're talking, and everything, like, she's sure. asked me questions. Okay. Like, like, you know, like, I want, like, I wanted to, like, know, like, some stuff and stuff. Like, okay. that's why a lot of stuff came up like that. Right? I mean, okay, so you were just more curious. To, yeah, like, yeah okay. she was like, yeah, I'm like, look, like, like I, I've been through stuff, and she was like, saying, like, saying all this stuff to me and all that, and that's it. Man. I'm not trying to do anything. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I just have a few more uh, questions here for you. Ask her if she's a virgin. 
And then you say that you talk about when you lost your virginity and you know who it was with. Yeah. And you say never in your life would you want to um, have sex with someone who's not a virgin. And then here you, you say that you're not saying that she has to have sex with you yeah. and you're definitely not a virgin. And then you're saying I never had made love to a virgin ever and it's something I want to do. But you've yeah, never been yeah, given a chance. Point, I'm not trying to make and, it a, a person, though. Like, you know, I just made well, it as a statement. It seems here that I you know, wanted to... I'm just I just made it as a, as a general statement. Man. And she says she doesn't know about sex, and you say, if you don't, then I can teach you. Yeah. And you put the kissing emoji. Yeah. And I mean, Eric, you know, this... This, uh, I mean, this I conversation has been... You know what I mean? Just responding. Just responding I mean, responding, I mean what, is, it okay, is it right to talk to 13-year-old girls in, in general? I mean, let I mean, alone like this. I mean, no, you no, know? no. So why partake in this conversation with her? Eric? I, was, I don't know, man. I just vet, talking, vetting for myself. Like I, like I, I lost a lot and came just, back. You know, I'm just trying to. Okay. Well, this something. girl could have lost a lot if she went yeah. with you tonight, because you're here to pick her up, you know, right? Yeah, in a way. Hang out. Yeah, to chill and hang out and come down and bring it back and everything. Bring her back to your house no, for, yeah, for and sex come, and bring it back. Yeah, I'm not going to have sex, man. I'm not. Not here I'm to not have really sex. Like, I'm not trying to have okay. anything. Okay. I was probably just. Thinking. You did and mention I don't even that have you. Cocaine. I don't even do okay. Cocaine, man. You mentioned it in the conversation. Yeah, I don't do cocaine. I don't have any or anything. Okay. Well, we'll I get don't. to that. What about when you said, "I want to experience the feel of my penis opening a blank for the first time"? You know, pop your cherry. It's hard to explain it away, but I want to be someone's first ever. So you said right there that you wanted to pop her cherry. I mean, I'm not trying. I was not I'm trying to be serious. I wasn't being serious at all. About so you weren't being saying, serious. No, it was, I'm not. It was just a, a big, a big joke. Like, not Sorry. a joke, I'm just trying joke, to, like, just... like so, someone asks me questions and I, okay. I answer, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to, I just try to be knowledgeable, I guess, that's all. Okay, gotcha. You're, you're awfully... I'm not trying to do anything, man. You're awfully knowledgeable, mm-hmm. and, and especially when it comes to sex, I'll say. I mean, not really. I haven't had any in, like, two, three years, I mean. I mean it's okay, and this, so this is going to be your first time in a while with I mean, this 13-year-old girl? I'm not trying girl. to do it. I'm, okay. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not... Well, Eric, like you somebody tr- what like said like, asked me like, like maybe like but I'm not saying in that age or anything like that. I'm not saying that like that. I'm not okay. trying to do anything. Well, like it looks to me like you talked to her like this, and then you came. Now you're here to meet her. So what am I to make of this? I mean, it, it does look bad, but I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not trying to do anything. Right? So you agree that it's wrong? I'm not trying. I'm not meeting to do anything with anybody. Okay. I'm just trying. I want to so, hang out and, and okay and just and just fit, go fishing or something. Let's like go that. fishing. You know okay, so. Say the thirteen-year-old girl was here. Uh, walk me through the scenario. What was what was your plan when she you did see her walk out? Just go home and to, to your to your house. Yeah, but my, and you know, be around my kids. I meet and say hi and everything because she wanted literally to say like, oh, I'd like to meet your kid. You, you know that can be considered kidnapping. Well, I mean, to some extent. I, I, well, not, I don't know fully know that in the or, legal or full like that. Right, or, or luring a luring a minor. Not luring. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying like like. I, she, I, I like to hang out or meet and t- and meet with you and talk and night. hang out and stuff I like mean, that. It's I mean, very it's very late at night, you know. I mean, it's a long drive. I mean, you say I looked at your pic and I was looking at your thighs and legs. I want to softly touch and slide my fingers slowly up and down those white cuddled. Oh, I'm sorry, those white cuddled thighs close to you is what you say. I want to kiss your neck and shoulders and massage my hands softly to your waist and up your sides and your shoulders. I mean, you're really going in it really in, I mean, in great just, detail I, I did, here. Yeah, well, just, exactly. Like it was brought up, and I like, just about, about knowledge. It was that, brought up by you. And sexual. Her at first, at first, it was brought up to me in, in oh, the she, app, in the date app. Oh, she she brought it up to you first. Yeah, not the, the other way. App, yeah, I, I really don't recall it, you know, being like that, Eric. Like she even said, like I'm visiting an aunt and all that. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean. Right. Like, and that's it. You and know? you figured you'd come over here and bring her to your just house for sex. Out. Yeah, but just to, not to do to anything. Not to do anything. Okay. No, I'm just... Okay. Just, at, just hang, chill activity-wise. Chill. Like, okay. You say, I'd pull your hands to my blank and tell you to rub and feel it. I'd suck and swirl my tongue around your boobs and nipples and yeah, kiss I'm you not, all over. It just, I'm you know, it, it really just goes in detail. Great yeah, detail here, Eric. I'm not trying to do you know? Okay, so you were just here to just, just pick her up, have a good time. What's that? Oh, right here, officer. You talked about how she, how you wish she was at your house. Then as the conversation goes down even more, you, you send her a, a picture of your penis. It's right there. I mean, that's you with your, your penis hanging about. It was a screenshot. 
a screenshot. Either, either way, Eric, this is something that you sent to a 13-year-old girl. I mean, if you weren't planning on doing anything, why send something like that to her? I mean, I'm honestly not trying to do anything, man, so... I mean, okay, I'm just well... Saying. Well, I guess we're going to talk to an officer here and see if they have um, officer anything over to say. Here. We're over here, officer. We, we, we were the ones that called you out here. Uh, this is uh, the man here who's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. This man here, he did come to meet up with a 13-year-old girl, and he was hoping to bring her back to his place okay. uh, shortly here. I have a whole chat log on him here. He gets very graphic. And at some point, he did mention that he was uh, going to let the girl try um, cocaine at some point. Isn't that right, Eric? I don't do cocaine or anything. You know, I but, really don't. but you talked about it. I have the screenshot I mean, where you I talked about it. Have any, I, don't talk, I don't do it or anything. You say you want to party like a rock star with her. I mean, just a joke. Just a joke. Coke is no joke, Eric. I'll, I'll tell you that. I know. That's some serious stuff. I know, man. Okay. Right. How you doing, sir? All right. So, what can I have you? Um, well, we just want to turn the information, um, you know, over okay. to you guys and see if you want to do any um, sort of further investigation with it. Uh, we can provide you all the, all the screenshots, all the info. Have any evidence that he I have a, a it's all right here. It's all right here. That's Do you, not legit. It's not it's not legit. Uh, we're with the Predatory Investigation Unit. Who, who are you guys at? We're just a privately owned and operated organization. Okay. So how do you get the info? How do we what? How do you get info? Uh, we set up these accounts online uh, posing as teens and just wait for uh, men to hit up the accounts and start a conversation. Saying like just say my uh, my right to speak. I'm not trying to do anything. I just, all I wanted to hang out is just be able to, my kid, my, my mom, and, you know, we were talking for a while and everything. I'm not trying to do anything like that. Even though he sent a picture of his penis and talked do about like doing these lewd sexual acts with her in this conversation. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to do anything so, like that. Man. Well, uh, you know, you're going to have to contact on SVU. Yeah, we already did, and they, they told us to dial the 911 number, so we did that. They told us to dial 911, sir. Yes. So you want to make a report and all that? Um, yeah, yeah, that'll, that, that'll be fine. And do you, how do you know the victim, the other person? Um, this gentleman here, I, we don't I, actually... I had, I was, get, I had a message on a dating app. Mm -hmm. It was to me. Well, he messaged a, a girl on, the, on a dating app, and she told him she I was 13. I and the person responded. And they said and that they're 13. It's all right here. And I'm not trying to do anything, man. Like, I got nothing to like, say about cocaine. I don't have cocaine. I don't do cocaine or not. You said that you were going to buy him. No, I understand. I'm just going by what you said. I understand. And, and I'm, I have no I'm just going by what he said here. Like this, so man. how did you look at this person right here? Yeah, like, oh, wait. How well, did those, you know, come in play? Well, like I said, we, we do a sting operation. So he thought that the 13-year-old girl was here at this house. Uh, he was going to be picking her up and bringing her back uh, to his house, right? Was it Eric? Yeah, and go fishing at, at right. my, at, by my house. After he sent a picture of his I penis see, and I talked about these lewd acts in this conversation. And you have all those cameras? Uh, just for documentation purposes. For what? Uh, we're, we're doing an online documentary series. What kind of online oh, yeah. documentary? Um, it's never heard of catfish officers. Oh, something, catfish? something of that sort. It's I'm, something of that nature, man. It, it's something of that, you, of that nature. I would give you my info. It's sort of an educational documentary. I would give you my info. No, we have that. All, we have all of that, sir. I'm not trying to do anything. So this is like a chat kind of show? It, it's it's an educational documentary series um, for an I'm online platform. To, it's not my intention. Pretty I'm, much I'm, like I'm a, a single dad. Uh, pretty much like a show, but we do ultimately try to get these individuals convicted. I'm a single dad with custody, man. Like, I don't want you to do that. Okay. Yeah, he, he does have a 10-year-old do daughter, right? Yeah, I don't, okay. I'm not looking for no intentions. Anything you drive like that, man. An hour? Um, you did drive a pretty long time. I drove, because we talked for a while, and she wanted to, like, to meet and hang out and, and just do regular stuff. I'm not trying just, to hang It looks like... No, I understand that. It sounds really bad, but it's not my intentions at all. I understand like, not from what, what you it looks like bad. I understand that. Well, Eric, from what it's you said what here... It's not I'm trying to do or anything. Okay. So was somebody out here earlier? What's no. that, sir? Was no, nobody was here at all. Nobody was out no. here? No. In, in terms, right of, in terms of what? Talk to you guys or whatnot. Uh, okay. No, no. We talked to a few people on the phone about it, but you're the first person that we, um, we actually talked who to. You who did you talk to on the phone? I didn't get a name. 
Right. So I have nothing I mean, on the, me. The fact that you have all this info, yeah. you probably want to go to on uh, SVU. We will, sense. yeah. Right. Wait, right, and they told us to call the 911 number. I'm not so. doing it. I have nothing on me. If you want to search me and everything, I have nothing okay. on me. But it's a house key, a cigarette box, and a lighter. You have a bit of a sick mind on you, I would say, from this conversation. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm trying. I'm, I'm honestly saying I have no intention to say anything. So, what was the reasoning for the sexual talk if there is no intention? It was brought up, and, and like it's I said, up. like like I, at I'm first there was some questions, and sure. I just answered now. Yeah. So I can take it from the from the start here. That's a picture of him. That'd be his online dating uh, profile. Um, here you can see the girl the picture I even does tell him. In my Google backup for like. Oh, okay. He's from here. And, and the girl tells him she's 13 right ranch. there. Um, he goes on, says he has a 10-year-old daughter. Then he wants said he's he wants to slide his hands up her back and neck, then feel her down on her sides to her waist, and maybe sneak in a kiss. The reason I even and that's just the tip of the iceberg. She, she asked a question and like oh like like if we were together, okay. what would I'm we do? And okay. I, and I just yeah. So basically, you know, it goes on. These are, and then she reminds him, I'm only 13. Remember. And then he says he wants to strip her down in front of her and slowly and follow her into the shower. Kind of just goes on here. He says that he's a gentleman and a real man, but he can also thug it out. Can you now, Eric? You, you can thug it out. It, it's a thing. It's from thug it. Max. I'm not saying gotcha, any type of way. Like, that's what I'm okay. Well, I, I gotta wonder where your dogs so, are at now. This is all you got, right? Just the I'm not these. To dip all the info here. This is all screenshotted. That that's a picture of him and his daughter that he that he sent there. Yeah, but I'm not trying to do any of this stuff, man. Like, I'm not. It looks bad. It looks bad. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I mean, I'm kind of just going through it here. Um, this is all the you know the important stuff here. Again, she says she was 13. That's the worst fucking thing. Says I've never in my life had sex or made love to a virgin, but he says that he wants to feel it. Um, here he says I want to experience the feel of my penis opening a. So pass all that. Oh, you want me to pass what, the sexual yeah, stuff? Yeah. Okay. What else do you have? What else? Apart from all the text okay. messages and whatnot. For as, apart from the text messages, right. uh, we we have a few phone calls recorded with him. Okay. Uh, so but you really it, have. Yeah, we have all these, uh, we have text messages calls. that go back about four months. Okay, so how did you get in touch with this person? What are the means that you, how did you get him, actually, pretty much? Uh, Why well, as I explained before, sir. Can I say one uh, thing? Right. When, when I, the person that I thought I messaged okay. on it, it said 18. Gotcha. Hold it on. said so that, so but. It's like, at first, I was like, but hey, she told said, him. hey, hi, and then, hey, how are you? And she told nice him she was. To meet you. All right, so what's your name? Eric, Eric. I have no, I only have Eric, a decent thing. I'm not, I'm How do you spell your last name? Well, I'm saying, saying bro, it's just. You're not even concerned about your safety, man. They shoot somebody around here every fucking day. You and there's person's you um, name, uh, the 13 year old. Who's, mm -hmm. What's the name? Uh, well, that was um, us I posing know. on the app. The name we were going by was. It's not a real 13 year old girl. So do you know her? It, she's not a real person. She's not. We, we, have, we have an adult decoy. Okay. I need that person's info because that would be the complainant. It would be the what? The complainant, the person that was, the, will be making the report. I'm making the report. I was, I'm running the whole operation. I understand you were making the report. That yeah. It would be up to her to make the report. It'd be up to her. To, right. Okay. I would have had to get her information. I only work with her um, exclusively online. Right. So I would have to ask her for her information for you. Need but, that info. Okay. So that I could send it down to the you know proper channels. So you can't send it down with just this. Not this. Not this way. Yeah. Why is that? Because yeah, right now she's, I don't you know, walk here say, I, 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 don't, I don't even know who you're talking about right now. Okay. You see what I mean, right? I, 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 I got don't you. Know, I don't know if, even if this person ever exists. You know, okay. Based on that, like, I'm, I'm you know. telling you, it was, it was, it was us that was talking to him on, on the app, that, posing but, as a 13 year old girl. Yeah, but if that's the case, the person mm -hmm. has to come forward. Which was, I, I was talking to him. The female has to come forward. You were the one talking. I was the one talking. You just said you had a decoy. I do have an adult decoy. Let right. me only explain. I use her pictures to go on the apps and set up profiles, but I'm doing all the talking. R well, guess what? You're going to have to... Listen, this is all like a hearsay right now. Okay. It's like, you know, trying to get somebody into trouble or whatnot. Well, it's, well, not, it's not trying to get anyone in trouble. It's no, just, I'm, not, I'm just showing you what I... I'm not one either. Okay. I'm not, 
Because I, I can show that's you. the case. And then the person, if it's a sexual, you know, like whatever mm -hmm. it is, you know, have to come right here, have to call us up. Then I'll write a report up, then go to one of the detectives. And talk but to you them. understand she doesn't have hardly anything to do with this, right? It's 90% it's me. I, I'm only using her pictures. Okay. So if you, you have understand? all this info, then yeah. you probably want to take it down to the SVU. Okay. Especially victims. That's fine. Then they will explain to you properly, you know, like what to do about that. But as of now, okay. there's absolutely nothing I can do. Nothing you can do. Right okay. Yeah. Now, and even though that he's know, physically here to, to meet up, that, that's not sufficient? No, it's not sufficient at all. Okay. So she's Just accusing relax. somebody of, you know, stuff. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Even, even though it's all right here? Yeah. Okay. Or if you take it down to on the, you know, special okay. victims, I gotcha. to tell you exactly what to do. Yeah. You know, but on the street, there's not much I can do right there. Okay, I gotcha. All right. Oh yeah, we just wanted to get someone out here to, you know, kind of explain what's going on. Okay. And because last time I checked, it is illegal to even oh, yeah. talk to someone like that online who you think is 13. So. Yeah. Okay. So if anything, you know, you oh, call no, us back. I, yeah. If you find out, you know, if you I'm go down there and. and, and Whatever they tell you, just call just us back. Just do what I got to do to okay. make myself a better person. Okay. I don't think there's a couple 16-year-olds you know, that sure. know what I look. All right, sir. Well, oh, appreciate you coming out. Literally do you have on your ID yeah. on you, actually? I do. Yeah. So you're from Michigan? Yep. What do you do we, about we, here? You know? We do this all over, sir. Okay. And how do you know this person is actually right here? I'm sorry, what? How do you know this person was actually here? How do I know he was here? Yeah. Because he's texting my phone, who he thinks is a 13-year-old girl, and saying and that he's, he's here. he's got the info, yes, the address, he's... everything? Yes, he's, he, he thinks that he's here to pick up a 13-year-old girl. Okay. That is what he thought How long have you mind. been living right here? Sir, you, you're, I'm not, here. No, I, I'm sorry, you're not understanding this. We're staying, this is the house that we're renting. So you're renting this house? We're renting this house How right he here. How did get here? He drove here to pick up a 13-year-old girl. And he thought the 13-year-old girl was living here. Okay. That's what I'm saying, sir. I really, I really can't understand it. It's, it boggles me. There's your stuff there. Okay. You know where to go for one of special victims? Um, no, but I'm sure I can, sure I can look it up. Okay. I got, got their number. Phone, you have a phone number for them? I got their number, yeah. Now, not only did the police take forever to arrive on site, but this police officer showed up at the worst time possible. I only got through about half of the chat log with Eric before this police officer, you know, came in and sort of interrupted. It is what it is, but not only did the police come late and at an inconvenient time for me, but this police officer couldn't seem to comprehend uh, the situation, what was going on. He seemed very confused. He was, for lack of a better term, a f moron. All right. I mean, he he was just terrible, terrible at his job. Just just awful. I mean, I think I could have done a better job as a police officer, and I I have zero training, zero experience in the field. I mean, I even had to remind this police officer to ID Eric to get his identification. And he didn't even bother to check him for cocaine like he said he had. I, I told the guys on the phone that he has, he supposedly has cocaine and they did not bother to search him. You weren't gonna get his idea? I'm sorry? You weren't gonna get his idea? He's, I, he's yeah, idea. Yeah, you weren't gonna, yes, for my idea, you weren't gonna get his, I, I just thought it would be even. Okay. Which, you got your idea on you then? No, I don't know, sir. My, all my info's correct. So how did you drive right here? Huh? How did you? No, you my wallet is at the house. At my house. We should help. I, it, so you drove down here without no, no... Yeah, without my wallet though, that's it. Um, so, you're, so you're driving without a license? No, just not without so my wallet. So you said Eric... Alright, just hold on one second. Right? Sure. Out here on this block? On this block, that's right. He drove an hour and a half to meet her. But he wanted to take her fishing back to his place at like, what, he would have been there at what, midnight? Yeah. Yeah, he's planning to take this her back. This is funny, though. I got six kids, three boys. Oh. Three and that's kids. why we do it, because this kids are important. Disgusting. No, because that's... I watch this ID channel. The channel is on my CV right now. This just... Well, make, be sure you check out our channel. I hope y'all really about to lock him up. So what channel is this? 
Huh? This pervert, this is a pervert that came to me as girl. I'm just right there on the block. I've seen the cops. And you so got I'm young like, kids too. Then I, I just said I have six kids. He come kids, all the way around here. All the way around here. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're trying to stop the problem, sir. I you know. understand what you're about, man. And then... I got kids. Mm -hmm. Let me get my phone and tell my kids to come to the door. This is crazy. We got about four guys on this block. That one of the little ass kids. The f***ing That's nothing to keep a secret. No, I ain't saying keep it a secret. How long have you been um, in this neighborhood? All my life, since I was nine years old. Okay. Has anything like this ever occurred around here? No. No. But we got like three guys that live on this block. This house, you know. Really? Are, are they known, like on the registry? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. They send us a paper, you know, to tell us who they is, yeah. what 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 address they have. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they'll be adding so another one soon. Huh? Maybe they'll be adding another one soon. Well, he ain't from around here. Not from around here, right? Maybe yeah. around his. He ain't gonna come back. He ain't gonna come back. Yeah, I don't, I don't, we don't. We don't think so. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's gonna explain to you exactly what I just mm -hmm. told you. Okay. You know, so, but, so yeah. we'll just take your information and sure. What special directives run with it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do we have this information? Yes. How, how do you guys notice that? You guys, uh, so we set up these. Have, right? So we set up these um, profiles on these dating apps, uh, posing as young teens. Mm -hmm. And uh, this gentleman hit up the account, and the girl told him she was 13. He got very sexual. Uh, the conversation went on for about four months now, and today he decided to basically come and try to pick her up. At this point, we're going to do. A, we're going to do. A, we're going to document the incident. Okay. Get good information on him, and we give it to special victims. And if they see, after they review all the evidence, they feel as though they need to arrest or get a warrant, they lock him up. For us. Sure. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, we'll see. Yeah. It's his phone number, right? All of it. It's all there. Yeah. And the phone is under his name, right? It is. And he told y'all where he live at, right? He just uh, don't have no He didn't ID. tell us, but yeah. Yeah, he yeah. just doesn't, he doesn't have an idea. He just don't have no idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they run into that every day, man. People say they don't yeah. got no idea. It's just crazy. He came all the way down here. Where are you from? He's from... We're from, uh, we're from Michigan. Yeah, I, I heard yeah. what y'all say. I'm just saying, no, yeah. you come all the way down here like that. Mm-hmm. It's it's wild. It, it goes to it, it shows you something. It's, it's really just saying that something. Easy. That's how you know, you know. They, somebody could have been a predator towards him and took his ass. Could have been. It's grown yeah. men that like grown men. Uh, sh there sure are, sir. There's something out there for I everyone. Did Ten years. I've been seeing every thing, everything. A long time. I mean, you've been on you've been on this block a long time, right? Yeah, I've been here since I was nine. I'm 62 years old. Yeah. You seen it all? Yeah, I got to what I got to Damn there, man. Nothing would surprise me. I just that's a long way for him to drive. Him. Oh, sure is, sir. In the middle of the night. I got a cheeseburger in the truck I just got. It's probably cold now. Oh, I, I would imagine so. That's crazy. He come all the way down here. Yeah. And only because he so here, you know, you probably know, nobody you know, don't walk by. Because his people walk around all night. Mm hmm. His crackheads walk around all night that would take care of Yeah, he's, he's got to be careful himself, you know. Yeah, what are you driving that little car right there? Oh, the silver right. Saturn? Looks like him. Ain't got no lights in nothing. Yeah, so um, he don't even live in Philly, so. He doesn't, he right. Yeah, he's yeah. from Allentown. Yeah, so, I mean, like, once Allentown will have to hook up with our special victims and they could do a joint thing or whatever, but. Just, okay. Just be smart about it next time. So I gotcha. Yeah, that would have been the shit. Yeah. You'd but, already, at the second you had all the information, you should have contacted the uh, you know, special victims unit. Okay. Let I know police department's ever offered me that, so going forward, I'll, I'll do that. Well, yeah. Like I said, yeah. we'll gladly have someone okay. do all that. I'm, I'm glad but to hear this it. this one, because he doesn't even live here. Yeah, it's a little bit. I understand. The warrant is going to be way out there. Yeah. For an incident that happened online. Online. It's a, ended yeah. up here. I understand. Yeah. So just, just be smart about it next time. I understand. Right. No, it's and, good information. We appreciate it. And it's good work you guys are doing. Appreciate yes, it. Sir. Yes, sir. Take care. Have a good night. I need to move my truck, man. Yeah. Please. Yeah, yeah. Do you want us to heat up your burgers for you? Please, we do. We got a microwave. I want three houses on this. Now, 
luckily, another police officer came out who did know what he was talking about, and he directed me to get the information over to the police department of the city where Eric was actually from. Since then, I have reached out to that police department, gave them the info, and um, haven't heard much since, so. Unfortunately, in these situations, that's all I can really do is let the police know of the situation and leave it up to the law to decide what is ultimately going to happen to Eric here. Now, I do hope that Eric can at least learn something from this situation and not try to meet up with any more underage girls. And I hope he finds the right neighborhood to thug it out in next time because that was just embarrassing. We know that there are many, many other predators out there just like Eric. And if they happen to fall in our investigation, they will be discovered and they will ultimately get skeeted. Just as Eric did. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Skeet a Predator. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you're feeling up to it, hit the join button down below or a link in the description to become a member on the channel and receive exclusive perks. Well, I've been your host, Skeet Hansen, and that's going to be a cut, boys and girls. Let's go get f***ing drunk. <laughs>